YouTube, we back with day 12 of Vlogmas, man. I'm about to head out in a second. Finna go goddamn kick it with my partners and shit like that. Do a little bit of vlogging. You feel me? We might do some shrooming with me. We gonna see what the day takes us, but at the end of the day, y'all finna be right here with me because I'm finna walk around with this motherfucking camera. So we finna see what happens. So I'm gonna get back to y'all in a second. We back with my outfit on, body man. For the bottom half, we got Louis V trainers on the bottom half for her feet, man. We got a mirror mirror jeans, goddamn, on the pants. We come up to the top half. Let's see what we go. We go, we go custom hoodie from my partner brand, man. So yeah, man. This is what we got on, buddy. Y'all see what the hell going on? We got an oversized crop, goddamn hoodie, a mirror jeans, and we got my goddamn Louis V shoes. And then to top it off, we got now put on my partner custom brand on the hat, man. So y'all folks see what the hell going on? We go all custom today. Today we wear black owned businesses except for the jeans and the shoes. But y'all see what the hell going on and we finna head out. So we just showed up at Uncle J spot. That fuck nigga is not here. This is why I always show up late. This is why I always tell people I'm on the way and I'm not on the way. And I tell people I'm ready when I'm not ready because they never fucking be there. So with that being said, folks, we is about to uh, take a little small detour. We're about to get down, go check on my P.O. box, see what the hell in my P.O. box because I received the package. So I'm going to get to y'all when we get there. So we at the UPS store, as y'all can see. My P.O. box was closed yesterday, so I couldn't get into it. But we finna pick up a package, and I'm gonna get back to y'all and unbox the package when we get in the car and let y'all see what it is. So I see y'all folks in a sec. So we at Cumberland got down. I just left from picking up my shit from a P.O. box. We just linked up with Uncle Jay. That bitch ass in the back, you barely see his ass. But yeah, man, I'm finna get back to y'all folks in a second. I'm gonna let y'all know if I grab something for tomorrow. If I don't, shit, I just see y'all wanna unbox my little P.O. shit. So I see y'all folks in a second. Man, we ain't at the crib, but we at the store. We finna unbox this bitch, what they say. Somebody just sent me a package to my P.O. We finna see what we got in here. They say we got a, oh, we got a zip up. Hey, cool. Hold up. They say we got a zip up, got a puffer print on it. Hold up. This shit got shit going on, I'm fucking with it. They say, they say I'ma put bro shit in the description, tag them in the bio, but this shit hard though. Y'all folk got down. What they say, man? Y'all folk keep sending your shit to my P.O.s, man. I'm wearing everybody's shit, supporting all black-owned businesses. Look, Cap's gonna put on some drip with it later. No cap. But yeah, man, I'm fuck with y'all. All right, let's do it. Hey, man, that nigga back here thinking he getting some pussy. He don't even know this shit a whole lot interview. <laughs> that boy thought he just got a number, boy. That shit was a whole lot. Boy, that was a whole lot video, boy. You ain't getting nothing but some play pussy. <laughs> that boy just got some play pussy. <laughs> yeah, he like, oh, my God. I just came up. That nigga think he, what they say to him, he think he, think he just got the pussy of his life, yeah, goddamn. That nigga said, yeah, I'm locked in. <laughs> hey, man. We still sitting in the middle of Cumberland right now. Niggas is vlogging and shit like that. Goddamn, we over here doing, uh, what they say, I guess you could say a public interview, walking down on folk, acting like, acting like she giving them their number, but she really not. This shit hilarious. Hold up, we got another one. The nigga said, we got another victim. We got another victim, people. He's a he's a victim. That boy think he getting pussy in the phone number the whole time. She just it's just for a video. Just getting your ad played. <laughs> but hey man, I'm gonna get back to y'all folks in a second when we get where the fuck we probably be going. I unboxed my PO shit. Y'all seen that of course. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's dead as hell in Cumberland. I be down y'all think I'm finna grab something at this Rudy Poo that country at mall. But we get back to the spot, man. I'ma got down, chop it up with y'all. You feel me? Might do a story time. We gonna see how the day takes us, man. But so far, bro, we still in the mall, bored as hell. I don't know what we finna do, but if some entertaining happen, y'all know could the camera come back on. Now we still sitting in the mall. I ain't gonna cap y'all down, bro. Like we over here trying to do public interviews in the middle of this little dead ass section in the mall. I just wanna be completely honest with y'all, like. We not gonna catch no plays in this section of the mall. Who the fuck goes to the, the Build a Bear workshop or the, the children's place or or fucking or Windsor? No one goes to none of this shit. That's why we've been sitting here so long. <laughs> nigga say nigga say we're sitting in the in the Christian area of the mall. Like we need to go back that way, guys. Hey man. Nigga say, nigga say, if we wasn't in the Christian area of the mall, this vlog would probably be over. But uh, we're gonna get back to y'all in a second, man. Hopefully, we'll catch us some more green beans. Look, Casper signing out. Oh, why one of the niggas did she interviewed a couple seconds ago? Why the fuck this nigga back? I, I think he think he got her number for real. He think he locked in. Bro, why is he back? Bro, why is that nigga back, bro? Oh shit. 
Hey, look, he said, he said, you gave me your number, but I need, he said, I gave you my number, but I need yours, baby, please. That nigga done came back to get her number for real, for real. He don't even realize this shit a social experiment, my brother. You over here thinking that she done, she done asked you for her number for real the whole time. You done asked her for her number for real. That shit funny as hell, nigga, my mama sold. I could never do that shit in guard. Look, bro, all I'ma say is, bro, I got something called pride and respect for myself, my nigga. One thing about me is, if a bitch got down, you feel me, say, oh, give me your number, it's cause the bitch don't wanna talk to you for real, you goddamn fool. If the bitch wanted to talk to you, she would've gave you her number, or she would've gave you her Instagram, social media, whatever the case may be. If you had to give her your information, my brother, you are lacking, you are set up for failure. That bitch is not gonna respond, and if she do respond, she ain't gonna give you the amount of attention that you want. So with that being said, y'all boys BP out here, man. Y'all niggas start goddamn wasting your player card. Y'all player card need to get revoked. Oh, later we back with an update. I'm still in this stupid ass fucking mile, goddamn it. But it's cool though, you feel me? It's it's pretty entertaining watching all these dumbass bitches and niggas go out bad. I mean, shit. Me personally, I get a thrill out of this shit. I done seen a uh, I done seen some big ass nigga like 200 pounds walk past with booty shorts on and some weird ass jacket. He need to get beat the fuck up. Cause who the fuck told you it was cool to come outside like that and it's winter time nigga If you gonna wear the shorts and shit what the fuck is the point in the jacket Me personally, I'm in here enjoying myself I'm looking at stupid ass outfits, dumb ass niggas and random ass people So it's cool bro, we, I'ma just keep on goddamn vlogging every time I see something weird So I'll see y'all folks in a second <laughs> I'm doing a lot here. Huh? He said a little bit. <laughs> well, fuck that. Why the fuck do they have bulletproof security vests? <laughs> what fuck type of shit is this? Oh, they both look decent and they both have beat ass feet on. But you know why? You know that's a style. You but you know that's a you know that's a style for light skinned girls though like beat Air Forces like like that's a thing. What? Beat Air Forces is a thing for light skinned and white girls. So. It is true though. It is true. Shawty might have some money and that's just a thing. They do the same thing with Converse's and shit. Beat to hell. For real? Hold up. I didn't know I was still recording, but I mean. What the fuck is going on here? Flip it again? Hold on. Yay. Nigga say 12 out here, goddamn? Shit. <laughs> Shit. Nigga say, well, damn. Fuck it. Yup. Well, look, nigga say, nigga say, I'm recording myself, but I am finna end this bitch just for you, buddy. What they say, I gotcha. I ain't gonna count. Why they be having a... You're cool. Because what I can say is it be a bunch of junior fucking deputies walking around this bitch. You're actually cool. Because a lot of y'all be in here acting like junior fucking deputies. Justin, leave me alone. Fuck around with you. All right, we ending this video. I see you on again. The mall, man. I don't know if y'all just see what happened in the last little snippet, but uh, Paul Blart, the mall cop, walked up on me and told me I can't record in this bitch. So, niggas, I'm done vlogging inside the mall. I see y'all when we get to our next destination, y'all. Boy, Justin said he finna get him one. Ooh, we don't play with that boy. He said he finna get him one. Niggas say, damn, I can't get your number, shawty. <laughs> I do what? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm about to take some shroomy woomies, but I'm also finna explain them to Uncle Jay right here. Okay. I ain't taking it, I just wanna know. He just wanna know. So with the shroomy woomies, like long story short, you got a 0.5 to a gram. I already explained this in one of my videos. So if y'all ain't heard this, y'all gonna hear it again. Yeah, right down. A 0.5 to a gram twin is like enhanced senses. So visually twin, you can see shit easier, right? Smell wise, you can smell shit 10 times what it usually be twin. 
touch wise twin you know how if you touch like something furry it feels furry twin right. no you can feel each individual follicle of hair like it enhances Ooh. shit that much you know what i'm saying so that's why sexual wise twin if you would have sex with a bitch off of shrooms twin i kid you not bro like the coochie gonna feel like coochie you know what i'm saying For real? yeah oh, bro yeah. it's gonna fit bro everything just amplified times 10 bro that's how i would explain it but i'm finna tell you these shrooms i'm gonna get back to y'all with an update on how i feel in a second Fuck he just run on this bitch like that. Okay. Anyway, we back at J Spot. Now we finna go up to uh, my uncle J crib. God damn, why the fuck it I don't wanna autofocus? I fucking hate having to tap this shit on my thumb and shit. Y'all get the fucking point, no bitch. Y'all get the point. Oh shit. Yeah, that was an impact. Oh shit. I thought it's probably a shumski. No, it's just I'm just lightheaded. I don't Boy. know why. Huh? You pregnant? Nah, I need some water. You dehydrated, my nigga? Yeah, yeah. You don't drink water? I do. I just haven't had none today. You drink water in your body today, too? Yeah. Felt that. I ain't gonna count, though, boy. I ate four bowls of oatmeal this morning, folks. I think I'm gonna finally start gaining weight. Look, Casper might actually put on, like, a pound or two. If I get big, I'm fucking all y'all niggas hoes. Not like I'm not already doing that, but I'm fucking all y'all niggas hoes. I gained some weight, pussy. Oh, shit. Start shit you doing, little bro. The fuck is that? I call it cause my shit. That shit looks way cleaner without that rug. I ain't gonna hold you. It might stay that way. Uh, nigga say, nigga say we at the spot with with my pop shit, my mom. With, with my pop shit, mom. Sh like, huh? What? How does she look without the rug? I damn near can't even tell the rug on. It look better though. I like it better. It look cleaner. It look more modern. No, we're using a rug. Nah, it's gonna be a different type of rug though. Yeah, y'all should get some player shit. You gotta get, get some player shit. Get y'all. Like cool. I, I miss you, bro. I ain't seen you since you was. Irritate me last time I was over here with your little bitch ass. Green. I'm about to over that shit. Fruit roll up pieces. Y'all know what the fuck this is. I ain't even gotta do no introduction on these. If I, you feel me? Shroom and woomies. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But we finna eat these fruit roll ups. And I'm gonna, got, um, feel me? I'm gonna get back to y'all in like a little second. Feel me? Let y'all know how I feel. Give y'all like, give y'all like a 30, 40 minute update on these hoes and let y'all know how I feel. So shroom and woomies becoming activated right now. 20 minutes in since I took shrooms. Me personally, y'all know how I be feeling. This shit be taking me a little minute. I ain't gonna count like, I can hear a little bit better, you feel me? See a little bit better. I'm definitely geek, obviously. But I ain't like super, super schmizz, like incapacitated to the point where I can't like function properly. You feel me? So I'm gonna get back to y'all with another update in a little bit, I guess. I know during my videos and shit, I always take a moment to got down gear, like words of wisdom and shit like that. So uh personally, bro, I wanna let y'all know like in life, you're gonna have friends and shit, right? But you're going to lose them motherfuckers too Because as you progress in life You got to understand that like Certain people ain't going to be with you on your journey And what I mean by that is like People might support you now But when you get uh, to where you want to be They might not want to support you no more Because people don't want to see you at your biggest Or want to see you shine So what I would tell y'all folks is Bro, just like Watch the company you keep uh, Watch the people you surround yourself with And shit like that Make sure people got your best interests at heart Because you don't ever know who the fuck Got them building you up to bring you down And I would tell y'all like one thing that's real important in today's like in today's society is being able to read people because these folks be snakes bro and these folks make it seem like they got your best interests at heart and truth be told they got their best interests at heart and they only gonna ride for you as long as it makes sense when it start making sense in their situation and they know it's some shit that'll got them when they know that it can't benefit them no more they gonna drop your ass with that being said bro do for yourself be your own person I would tell y'all niggas to like, you feel me, like really try to find yourself, bro, because one thing about me is, bro, like, I found myself, but it took a long time, and it took for me to lose a lot of friends, stop fucking with a lot of people, got down, distance myself from a lot of people and shit like that, and it's not to say that, goddamn, it's any love lost, bro, but one thing about me is, bro, I'm a person of progression, I'm a person that likes to move up in life, and when you move up in life, you gotta, goddamn, bring the people around you that is doing the same thing that you're doing, you get what I'm saying? So, hey, man. Surround yourself with who you want to become and if it ain't people around you that's like that, you feel me? Just work on yourself, keep going, you feel me? Stay hungry, keep hustling, shit like that. Because one thing I can tell you is, bro, every day is a new day. So with that being said, bro, as long as you living, you got a chance to try again. So all y'all folks is like looking at my video and y'all might be stuck in the moment. Or you got some shit right now that's bothering you, eating you up alive, and you feel like you can't beat that shit. You can beat that shit because as long as you waking up, it's a new day for you to try again, try some new shit, you feel me, shit like that. And one thing about me is, bro, I want y'all to understand, bro, that 
The strongest people in life have challenges, bro. If you don't have no challenges in life, how the fuck are you gonna become anything or how are you gonna get anywhere if life was just handed to you and shit was easy, bro? So to the people that's going through shit, you going through shit for a reason, bro. Beat your obstacles, keep going, you feel me? Keep progressing. And once you get past your obstacle, bro, boss up and stand on that shit, you feel me? Make your obstacle look like shit because one thing about it is, bro, y'all folks gotta understand that Life is hard, bro. This shit is not easy, bro. This shit is hard as fuck. And I'm not gonna make it just seem like it's peaches and cream. From the outside looking in, y'all would think that my life is amazing. I go through shit just like y'all, which is why I do this vlog and shit because I got down wanna create an outlet for people to see like I go through regular day-to-day -day issues the same way anybody else do. Y'all got money and shit. Yeah, shit like that, but money could go. I could lose that shit today, I could lose that shit tomorrow. And with that being said, bro, you forever gotta be humble because you gotta remember where the fuck you started at. You gotta remember where you came from, and you gotta remember who started with you. And you also gotta remember that when you get to your end goal, bruh, it is easy as hell to forget where the fuck you came from and lose everything that you work for because your ass get fucking, you get what I'm saying? You get the big head. Don't get the big head, bruh. So, yeah, bruh, words of wisdom for the day. Watch the company you keep. Be yourself. Surround yourself with people as the same goals as you, bro. Don't feel no type of way if you lose friends and shit like that. Shit happens, bro, and shit, bro, just keep going. You feel me? Keep going. As long as you waking up, as long as it's a new day, keep going. What <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? But I'm going to get back to y'all in a second. We got down, like, my update on how I feel about the strongs and shit. But I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. Like, me personally, it's been like, mm, I think it's been like 40 minutes. No hoes kicking in, but it ain't like doing a whole, whole, whole lot of... We'll see how I feel in a little bit, though. Y'all know that shit take a little second to kick in. But once they kick in and they there... They there. So we finna see what the fuck going on. So I'm gonna get back to y'all in like 20 minutes. So I'm back to y'all with an update on how I feel, man. As y'all can see, we is at the top of the city. I be doing this in a lot of my videos just for motivational purposes because I ain't gonna lie, bro. One thing I can tell y'all is just from like being a person from Atlanta, when you at the bottom of the city, the city look ass as fuck. But I understand why people love the city when you at the top because it look a lot different from the top of the city, man. Yeah, man, what I was gonna say, yeah, man, all my people that got down living in Atlanta and shit, that shit look way different at the top of the city, gang. It don't look the same as it do at the bottom. But yeah, man, motivational purposes only. Uh, back to goddamn, how do I feel, like, off of the shrooms and shit like that? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. All in all, they've kicked in for sure. This view is kind of crazy, like everything wavy as a motherfucker, you feel me? Shit move fast, slow, shit like that. I don't know how to really explain exactly how it looks for me visually, but like shit definitely moving quicker than it usually do. Shit's brighter than it usually is. I mean, you feel me? Shit louder and shit like that. But I'm not just like super geeked out my mind. Like, hey, I be talking about I be seeing rainbow, uh, rainbows and unicorns and goddamn, you feel me? Alpacas and llamas and shit with wings and shit. Look, Casper ain't smelling that. I, I, I haven't got that high yet, you feel me? A lot of, I feel like some of y'all niggas just be capping. Y'all have be doing crack or some shit. But, yeah, bro, I've been doing strong for a long time, bro. It's been damn near three years, bro. And I've had, like, harsh illusions and shit like that. Maybe the room will start spinning or some shit. Some shit will get bigger or brighter or some shit like that. But I've never seen no shit that wasn't there. Niggas be talking about they seen a leprechaun and some shit. Bro, you were doing crack, bro. There's no way you were doing shrooms, bro. But, yeah, bro, I'm going to get back to y'all in a little second with another update. All right, see y'all then. I with an update on the shroom, man. Them bitches is whooping a nigga ass, boy. No cap, though. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of schmizz, bro. Them bitches is whooping nigga ass. I'm going to be 100 with y'all. Y'all know I always keep 100. Look, Casper is taking an L on this one. Uh, Casper 0, Shrooms 1. I'll be coming back to y'all on the next day-to-day -day video, man. Thank y'all for watching this shit. Y'all folks keep liking, coming, sharing, man. And, man, to all of my supporters and everybody that got down, follow my Instagram, watch my TikTok videos. Shout out to y'all, man, because y'all folks is the reason why I keep doing this shit. Y'all are the reason why I keep going hard, man. Y'all folks keep supporting me. Thank y'all for everybody tuning in, man. And like I said, I will see y'all tomorrow in the next video.